Okay, so this is syntactically correct, but we're not actually doing anything with this yet. We have to get some code in there. So it could be a really good exercise to take all the code that's down there in the procedural functions and move them over to the class methods. Chances are you'll miss a couple of bits, but it's a good exercise and you'll see which parts you miss as we go through the next step. So next, we're going to copy over some code and review the changes that moves all of these procedural bits of code into the classes. So we'll go over to the resource pack and we'll open up the third step, which is called conversion to classes. And we'll copy all of the code and paste it over the code that's currently in index.php and save it. So now if we scroll up to the top and we look at the structure, you see we have our form class here. And then within our form class, we have our constructor method, which is underscore underscore construct. We have our build method. We scroll down, we have our validate method. We scroll down, we have our submit method, and then the end of our class. And then below that, if we scroll down more, we have our page class. And then within that, we have our constructor method, our build method, and our theme method. And then we have our arrays that we're gonna pass as data to those objects. Okay, so right now you might still be wrapping your mind around some of these basic OOP concepts, which is totally fine. But hopefully you can see that the structure of the code actually seems to mimic a little bit more what we're really doing, right? So if we scroll up and we look at these classes, all of the functions that are related to forms are within this form class. We're making it explicit that these actually belong to the form. And that makes a lot of sense as we read through the code. If we compared this with our original procedural code, then there's no way to tell what the relationship is between the different functions. We wouldn't know for sure that build form is related to validate form or submit form unless we actually looked at the code and saw that, hey, yeah, validate form and submit form are being called from build form. But with this structure, it's clear. There's a relationship here between these different methods that's explicit. It's a much more accurate mapping of what's going on, and it will be a lot easier for other people to understand as they start looking at this.